All right, David Harry here, and I've recently made a video which said something like the best GoPro vlogging system or something like that, which is based around this Ulanzi G85 case. Now, during that video, I also said I was going to start doing a glut of other videos now based on this the best GoPro vlogging setup. So, what I'm going to do now for the first one of my microphone videos, I'm going to kick it off with arguably the best and most famous of all the vlogging microphones, which is the Rode Video Micro. So, I'm on the Video Micro right now, and what I've done to put it through its paces, I've come to our city centre in Liverpool here to walk around and do some vlogging <laughs> walk around like a fool talking to myself to my hand with a, a squirrel on the top which is apparently what people think this is anyway so what i'm going to do now is just shoot off find some locations and do some kind of audio testing and stuff and mic testing and i'll be testing for a whole bunch of things to do with this microphone okay so i'm going to have to stop recording now whilst i cross this busy main road but i will carry on shortly on another busy main road with all buses and traffic on all right so the idea then is to basically just walk through our busy city center and like do a whole bunch of takes which may appear to be random but realistically what i'm doing is giving the microphone a good run through its paces and stuff here now the other thing as well i will be doing a lot of cutting here and here's why and i don't want to drag everything down and get be a complete bummer on this one but if you're about out and about vlogging and what have you, you should not be vlogging and crossing over any roads where there's any kind of traffic knocking around because it's completely irresponsible because you're not concentrating on the traffic around you as you're crossing roads. So you stand a really good chance of getting yourself wiped out on a road. So as well as potentially killing yourself, you would also have a massive impact on somebody else's life who was just driving around until you acted like a complete and utter tool and walked in front of their car or a bus. All right, so now that Downer Dave has done his little bit of public information film service duties there, what he's now gonna do is turn into the boring Dave as usual and just start walking through and doing a bunch of things. Like I say, the, imp the important thing to kind of bear in mind here is that I'm in a very busy environment and the street that I'm on, or the last couple of streets actually that I've been walking down, I've got a ton of buses on and stuff. So this is definitely gonna be stressing out the microphone's cardio pattern. And then obviously in the process of doing that, it's gonna give us a very, very good idea as to how good this microphone is for vlogging. Because one of the most important things for a vlogging microphone is to be able to concentrate and pick up your voice that's directly in front of it, whilst trying to like, you know, avoid the other sounds to its rear and its sides. I mean, right now, the street that I'm walking down has got a bit of an alarm thing going off or one of these vans have. In fact, I think that's probably gonna be a bit too loud. I'll try it anyway and see how we get on with it, but actually that's extremely loud. That's probably gonna have been the worst cardioid pattern test I've ever tried. Uh, we definitely would have been picking, we're picking it back up again now. Anyway, so what I'll do, I'll get around the corner here, away from that big screechy noise and see how it goes then. All right, so doing a cardioid pattern test right by a big mad van with its alarm going off and stuff is quite possibly a bit too much. And it would be a bit too much as well for any kind of microphone because what was going on there, I'm surrounded by walls, uh, which are just gonna reflect the sound back into the microphone and stuff. So it wouldn't really have mattered where it was uh, in, in that environment there. I was always gonna be picking that up, but it'll be interesting anyway to hear if, if there was actually any dialogue cutting through there with all that mad noise going on from the van's alarm kicking off. All right, so another thing to be aware of here is that although this is a microphone test, what it is, I'm actually testing out a variable ND here as well. So just a, a little quick story about this. Before I come out this morning, I was having a really good long uh, FaceTime chat with me YouTube Bezzy, Mr. Ian Craig. And um, I, I was saying to Ian, oh yeah, I've just got all this stuff for me GoPro, including a variable ND. And Ian just burst out laughing. <laughs> because obviously Ian was pointing out the folly of my, or the potential folly of my ways, which is, as soon as you start using things like an ND filter, uh, whether it be variable or static doesn't matter but as soon as you start using something like an ND filter with the likes of a, a GoPro or indeed any other camera where you don't have any indication of metering and stuff on it um, and also uh, you know the fact that you haven't really got a, a screen per se to judge exposure from the big problem with NDs in these scenarios is that you don't really know if the settings are going to hold between different types of lighting as a for instance i've just gone into a very dark bit here and i don't know if uh, the actual cap 
that I've put on the ISO is going to be too low for it to regain back up. So what I've done, I've done various things here. One setting is to have uh, fixed and locked the shutter at 50 and then kind of get a rough balance with the ND and then let the ISO go slightly auto between 100 and 400 to see what that was going to do. Um, and then what I'm doing is right now I've got the shutter on auto and then the, I the ISO kind of locked down a bit further. So it's going to start using the shutter to control the exposure. Um, but with doing that, obviously, I've got to have made sure in the first place that the ND was actually set to a decent level before I start doing the takes. Now, another potential problem with all that is because this is only a cheap variable, I don't know if I'm going to get in that like cross hatching going on. I don't think I'm strong in too, I don't think I'm up too strong, strong enough on it in order to see that polarization pattern occurring between the two polarized uh, lenses or the two polarized bits of glass on a variable ND. Anyways, what I might have to do is switch it off at some point and then try something there in case some of this footage has gone bonkers. Anyway, so let me just go somewhere else now. So a jump cut then to another day and another location yeah what it is uh, just quickly uh, there was a bunch of problems that I had yesterday when I was in town like the city center uh, with the hero what had happened it did this weird thing and threw a wobbler and uh, I lost a bunch of files and things like that but I've got to be I've got to be dead honest um, because I was so happy with the results of what I'd already got uh, weirdly, I wasn't really that upset about what you know the the, the bad thing that happened yesterday. <laughs> I mean, actually, it was probably a good thing because what it's meant is that I've come out and give us give ourselves a taster of how the microphone sounds in like this environment that I come to, which is the park, obviously, in order to kind of give ourselves more of an idea of how the dialogue sounds without me having to compete with all the noises in the busy city centre and all the rest of it and as you know as mad as what some of that stuff was that I'd done yesterday I really do think that the actual road video micro held up extremely well because you know it, it was mad there was a lot of mad stuff going on as far as other sounds especially that van with its big like alarm going off and all the rest of it I was actually thinking about not I was actually thinking about taking that out of the edit to be honest but then I thought well no because as much as what yeah it's a bit annoying to hear that stuff going on um, the thing is you know I've got to show all of the horrible things as it were you know and in showing what is potentially a horrible thing i think what it did do it did give us a really good idea of how the video micro handled all that as well i thought it was great um yeah and i think you can probably tell i'm really really happy with this setup and this is only i've only tested the video micro on it so far so yeah and you know can't wait to get into all the other mics and all that stuff as well and testing like you know some of the other 52 mil stuff that i've got for the actual yolan anyways what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna find somewhere to sit off and just kind of like talk myself out of this video and do a bit of a summary actually I'm not gonna go and sit down for the end piece what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna walk through all this treed area here it's just like a little small clump of trees and I think what I'll do because although you know I, I come out specifically to do a test for the microphone I am actually still testing this, um, this this variable ND as well that I've got. So what I'm gonna do is purposefully go into something which is gonna get a lot darker for me and just see what my settings are all like. Please don't judge anything here to do with the GoPro, definitely, um, because I may well have not set this up the best way possible. So this is just a little something extra for me to, you know, kind of see and test as I do these things as well. Which leads me on, obviously, to a really good point here as well. And that is the, um, the extra things I can now do very easily um, with the Ulanzi case or because of the Ulanzi case. And that is to be able to put these like 52 mil, you know, kind of filters on the front of it and stuff like that. So right now I've actually got a UV filter and the variable ND on it as well. But also in my bag here, I've got the lens cap now that I can, you know, like throw straight over the front of the whole thing. And that lens cap is going to give you absolute proper unbelievable protection for the lens on the gopro so i know a lot of people use uv filters just as a little extra layer of protection for like potential damage now whilst i've got the uv filter on and it can do that obviously i put the uv filter on specifically for the ultraviolet stuff that it's meant for but i've also got the lens cap so 
again it's this thing you know just just what i'm able to do with this particular setup and you know what it, it's it's allowing me to do is actually and I, I don't know if i've already i probably might already have mentioned it um it, i'm just so buzzed up about using the hero 8 and like i say you know the thing that happened yesterday which would otherwise have like upset me a bit it didn't really and the reason for that is because i'm just having such a ball with this setup I, i'm walking out walking around with this i feel that i'm i'm using not a hero 8 but i feel like i'm using like a proper video system now proper video camera and all the rest of it and it, it really is just i'm I, i'm seriously I'm, I'm like a kid at christmas still now i've had this system a little while now and the novelty just hasn't worn off and, I, and i'm assuming that novelty level will still stay up there quite a bit because i've still got to test all these other mics with it as well and i'm just honestly seriously i'm having a ball it's great anyways yet yeah, so i wanted the mic thing again um because obviously i've made this very bold statement you know the best gopro setup you know for vlogging and all that and i am definitely hopefully proving this well i'm definitely attempting to prove it to other people um i know it is and i appre i do appreciate you know people will want to use the media mod i totally get it and especially for hdmi you've got no option and i do appreciate that you know some people are going to be thinking well you know i just want to attach one small thing to it and it'll do me i can't argue with it i'm not going to say to someone that's a bad idea because it's not a bad idea but this setup is just way more flexible the stuff you can do with it i mean look at this I've got a sling bag here, right? And I've purposefully bought this. £10 this was on Amazon. Ridiculous. In fact, there'd be links to all this stuff in there. The descriptions below know all the stuff that I've been using for this video. But this thing here, and I'm going to do a video all about this on its own. Because this now allows me to just use a small little well sling bag like this instead of my usual backpack which is a bit of a it's a bit of a chore using a backpack just to go out with small camera equipment so i actually went out yesterday and today i've got two setups in here because i'm doing something as well uh, with my new mobile phone my galaxy uh, a90 uh, a a95g i've actually got all that set up in here as well so i've actually come out with this with two setups and within that setup what i've got here for me gopro is fantastic everything i need to come out with all in a nice convenient small space so yeah so anyways i'm rabbiting on a little bit here i think you'll probably understand why and it's just because i'm so happy with all this anyways as far as the microphone stuff is concerned i'm still going to do the other videos uh, this month because like a complete and utter mad person I did commit to making a video every day this month for every weekday so that's about 22 videos for this month but in amongst that there's going to be about 10 other videos uh, for the gopro now uh, and in amongst that there's going to be the shotgun microphone test or me, me recommendation for like you know a shotgun for it that's likely going to be let's see the it'd probably be the road uh, video mic pro plus and the reason for that is is i've already actually tried it out and it's fantastic with it um, and on top of that i think you know it is the it is the mic that most like proper vloggers would want to use so testing it is probably going to be the best best thing to do as opposed to other options i've got and when i say proper vloggers you know because i'm not really a proper vlogger what i do i kind of do stuff which is vloggy ish but what i'm doing is hopefully you know presenting to proper vloggers options for what they could use i'll also do the hardwired lavalier which again is going to be a road and that'll be the lavalier go just because i really love it and then i'll do the wireless system which will be a combination of uh, the lavalier go and the wireless go um, because as anyone might have noticed in the past for such for, for all the like the, the bad stuff that i said about that wireless go system pairing it up with the lavalier go it's just suddenly a completely different ballpark and if i've got to be honest i think it is the best vlogging microphone it's expensive because it's a wireless system and all that but i love it and you can conceal it you can wear it out on yourself you don't have to use the lav if you don't want to it, it's fantastic um, and also as well what i'm going to do uh, because there's been a couple of people have mentioned in the you know the, the the comments on some of my videos about using two mics with the hero 8 so i'm definitely going to do a thing where me and one of my mates will demonstrate using two mics with the hero 8 highly likely again to be 
uh, just two setups of the wireless go and lavalier go anyways yeah i think we all know where i'm getting to with all this anyway and what's coming up and all that and there'll be other videos to do with like you know the options like i'm going to do a full video about this nd the uv the lens cap all little separate quick videos hopefully for stuff like that and stuff that doesn't necessarily drag on for hours like this anyways yeah so i'm going to shoot off now because really i'm kind of like talking far too much on this video <laughs> uh, but it was a vlogging example i suppose so maybe yeah uh, i can get away with it anyways yeah if you'd like to see um all of my stuff that i've done with the hero weight which includes the medium odd stuff the mics and all the stuff coming up go to www.gopro9.com and that will take you to a playlist with all that stuff in that url will eventually end up pointing at a small focused website which will have all of my gopro videos that i've ever done on anyways yeah if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel click the bell notification icon do not thing and the last thing that remains for me to say right now is i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now